So this whole idea of, of making this cleanup circular and turning the catch into something usable and using that to actually continue the, the, the funding of the continued cleanup. Yeah, that has really been the vision since the very first day in the, really the past five, six years. As we were developing the cleanup technology, uh, we have also been having a team here working really around the clock to work on ways to turn this material into actually something great, you know, something that people want to have and that is actually able to, to then fund the cleanup. Currently we're trying to get a sample of 1,000 kilos of plastic from the Hawaiian shoreline. And then we have to investigate what the composition is, what the quality is, what the size ranges are. Some of this plastic has been out there for 50 years. It gets very degraded by the sun, by the salt. Recycling ocean plastic is challenging. Our recycling infrastructure is made to recycle post-consumer waste or post-industrial waste, not post-ocean. We analyzed even the dust out of the waste because we wanted to you know, know what we work with. You have to adapt everything to use these materials from your machines to basically your, the products that you make out of it. You just need operational testing after testing after testing because every time you process a new material you have to adjust your processes to it. So one color will be different, one batch will have a different color than another batch. Do we accept it? whole journey of creating this ocean cleanup material to create something that represents the ocean but also gives you the sturdiness but it also gives you the everlasting feeling of the ocean. It reminds you of the waves and the foam. It turned out to be a real challenge. This could be really cool. Yeah. Today we are at uh, Biologic and Biologic is the company that helped us transform the material into the material ready for the manufacturing of the product. So today is the transformation day. We've been working together for about I think now two years. So the project started with uh, just the idea we want to make uh, something out of the, the plastic we take out of the ocean. And uh, we looked together as InnoLogic then, the, the research department, to, to find a solution to make the ocean waste into a usable plastic granule. We've been experimenting a lot to create these materials already by using a proxy. So some fish nets from the harbor and then we needed to create a master batch to be suited for the color and the properties of our catch. It's a process that is called compounding. So you put in the base material and you put in the master batch. These red buckets with the navy blue and the effect blue little pearls. And in this machine these two are mixed and then the material is colored and also degassed, so it's uh, getting another proper cleaning round and then it's granulated again. A couple of weeks ago this material was still a mix of all kinds of uh, different fish nets, different colors but also different properties and now it's ready to be manufactured into a product and I'm very excited to see these nets getting a second chance. Photo for the team! So with this material, one thing we kind of went after is to try and get the feeling of the ocean captured in the material. The fact that it came from 2,000 kilometers from shore surely that's going to change this material a bit. And I think that that change of the material kind of captures 
that story inside of it. And we, we didn't want to lose that, we kind of wanted to embrace that. It won't look homogeneous, it will have kind of waves in the material. It's a bit of a reminder of where this plastic comes from. You know, this is not just normal plastic, this is actually plastic from the high seas. It wasn't surrounded by men, it was surrounded by whales and by sharks and albatrosses and the nautical feeling we wanted to capture in the material. Now we, we've actually selected a thing that we think we can make from this material and we think will be really cool. And um, yeah, Volga as well, I think in, um, in October we will be able to present this. And, yeah, and I really, really cannot wait to, to share this.